Morning, sir. Morning. How are you? Good, good. So you still got your purple skunk up there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brent's purple suck skunk. He's gonna like that. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna be happy with me. Yeah. All right, we are still back in the shop. The weather outside is not the most favorable. So we're gonna try to finish up the Eliminator. Is this Eliminator part two? Is this yeah, the sequel? Part two of, I don't know, is it part two or part three? Uh, this might be like part 12. Years. On one. Yeah. So. It's uh it's been quite the ongoing project. All right. Let's show you what we're thinking. All right, for some crazy reason, if this is the first video you see on this project, let's do a, we should do a quick little recap, shouldn't yeah, we? Because we, we've come a long ways in a short period of time. Yeah. This is the limb saw we built that'll go on either the 210 or the 120. Got the rotating blade on the end for basically going around the edge of these farmer's fields and cutting everything back. The first part of this was made with the lift axle, which is right here which allows us to rotate and turn all that. That part bolts on, so we got to thinking we can use the other half of the lift axle, put it on a skid steer plate, and then we can also put it on the 240. Yeah, put it on my rig. So we got options out the wazoo. So I think in the last video, actually I haven't even edited the end of the last video and you got left alone with a camera, so I'm not really for sure what was in. Never really good, but. Never good. But we got this all mocked up obviously you guys can tell aaron has got it all welded out so i think the next step the next step is to mount this on the skid steer yeah unbolt the limb saw from this adapter plate and get it bolted on there and then we got to make some sort of so on this one here we use the brake assembly as the rotation lock so we can go whatever angle we want we got anywhere we want to be in the 360 degrees we can do on this one here i think we're going to simplify it a little bit more and just do basically like a two position deal right yeah horizontal or vertical, vertical. uh instead of messing with the whole because we put the whole brake assembly on there it's this one just gets this one's already more complicated than what it needs to be we don't need this one to be more complicated because it's gonna be more complicated yeah that makes sense somewhat I, you lost me at the beginning there but you're good you're still here though yeah <laughs> so I didn't, leave, I didn't leave you too far behind there all right so uh what do you want to do first you want to hook that up on the skid steer yeah let's stick her on there all right I got this nice comfy seat here, so I'll, we'll watch you. We'll watch the master at work over there. That's a good first start, it fits. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my part's done. <laughs> That's the easy part. Yeah. All right, well, I guess let's, uh, I guess we can get that unbolted. She's gonna come off her. Oh yeah, I just need a little oh, jiggle yeah. jiggle. A little wiggle wiggle. Did it come up a little bit maybe? Okay. Tell you what, uh, Release your brakes it's here. A, well, I mean, it's about there now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no. 
We're about to do a little bit of finagle rigging to get her back on there. But I think what we need to do next is on all these studs right here, we cut these off, what, inch and a half off of them maybe? Yeah, something like that. So basically we just need to take a measurement off of what we got here. Yeah, because it makes it a whole lot easier to get all those uh, nuts on there. So I think over here on these, what we're going to do is uh, we'll run all these nuts on there, make sure we got good threads, get a measurement. Go ahead and cut those all off while we try to put that back on. Be best, don't you think? Yeah. All right, let's do her. All right, Aaron's got all the studs cut off, looking good. Clean that X off there, you clean that one, so there's nothing wrong with that stud anymore. The old, uh, the old thread file worked pretty yeah, good, didn't it? So. All right, well, we're gonna try to maneuver, maneuver this guy on there and see if she'll bolt up. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look wild. <laughs> Somebody parked a welder in the way. Yeah, yeah, I did. Go down a little bit, you think? Yeah. To you a little bit. Okay, let me come down or yeah. let me bring the skid steer up. Oh, your blade's getting ready to hit down wow. there. Unforeseen issues, man, behind the scenes. Yes. I still don't know for sure what's going on, but apparently this thing has a left and right. So on that side of the axle, we cut tabs for these little alignment tabs, which are these little notches right here. Apparently, whenever you flip this around, try to put it on the other side of the truck, the tabs go the other way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, if so we don't have- it laying in there, it's going the opposite yeah. way. So I don't know if you guys can see, we notched it this way. Well, now it's going this way. So we're gonna make our notches universal by making them semicircles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which should help us out on that. Basically, if we do that, it'll line up on every stud pattern. Yeah. 
no matter what we do. Mm -hmm. All right, long story short, this thing's going under the knife to make her fit, a little torchy torchy, and then hopefully she'll slidey slidey right on there. Get better this time. Don't mess up my paint. Yeah. I noticed. We didn't drill a thing over here. All right, you guys get the point. We're gonna let Aaron get those torched out of there and hopefully it'll slide on there. We're we gonna go with third time's the charm. Yeah, yeah, we are. Fourth time's the charm, fifth time. I lost track at this point. All right, come on, baby. <laughs> well, we fixed one problem. Yeah. And now we found another one. And it went right on. Oh, it did. It was beautiful. <laughs> All right. So the next thing, I don't know. I guess we're getting too ambitious here this morning. We forgot to take into consideration the thickness of the drum that goes right here, right? Yes. So uh, on the, when we got it on the traco, the drum is on it. Which is a spacer. Which is the spacer we need. Oh, <sighs> boy. So here's what I'm thinking. I wonder if we just don't get another drum, yeah. cut the center out of it, mm -hmm. use it as our spacer. Maybe we can even incorporate that tab into our locking mechanism. Yeah. That's a great idea. One small problem. We don't have any drums here. Did you know what else we don't have here? Hydraulic hoses. Yeah. You know what town has? <laughs> <laughs> drums and hydraulic hoses. So I think what we're going to do is uh, we need to get a measurement on some hoses that'll go from here to there. We'll go to town and get two hoses made, get a drum we can modify. Yeah. And then at that point, it's a flawless plan. Yes, then, then it's going on. It's gonna be hooked up ready to use. Well, the old winter, winter chicken dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, road trip it is. It's just what you always wanted, a nice rusty, Yes. Break drum. It's great, Santa Claus. You're so welcome. Love it. <laughs> All right, so our little adventure to town, we managed to round up a, a used brake drum out of a buddy scrap pile. Thanks, Jason. Yeah. All right, so here's what we got in mind. We need to cut this off to use as our spacer. We're going to leave this tab on here to use as our locking tab for the back and forth part, right? Yes. What, are you going to wait for that? I guess going to wait for it. Oh, torch will get that. I don't know. I don't know what it's made of. Well, that's a great question. Uh, I'd say if we can wait for it, it'd probably be best because it'd be a better cut, wouldn't it? No, it's going to be a lot better cut. Yeah. So All right. Wafer wheel's getting ready to go. It's your favorite tool. It is. It is, believe it or not. All right, so... Actually, welder's my favorite tool. I ain't got to use a grinder much. I ain't like you. <laughs> we, uh, we have went back and forth on what to do on our hydraulic hose situation. I think for short-term purposes, we're going to just, re what did we decide? We're going to reuse these hoses and just change the ends out. I think ultimately what we can do, if I can get a few more fittings, is we can make an adapter. I kind of started making one up here. So the issue we run into is this style is what's on the excavators. This style is what's on all of the skid steers. I do not have a female version of this style to make two adapters. So we're gonna use this for one side and then just make, uh, just take the end off the hose on this one down here, if you can see it. We're gonna plug straight into the skid steer for now. This thing is just not gonna get used enough to put 
five, six hundred dollars in the fittings and hoses is what I'm trying to say nicely. So we're gonna just swap out some ends for now and uh, make it work. Hopefully, you're, hopefully the wafer cuts that. Yeah. You look lost. Well, I'll still get that cord, but it likes tripping out, so I'm gonna get this cord that don't trip out. Like you can use that one. That one don't trip out? No. For sure? Yeah. I thought they were the same. No, that one's from Taiwan and that one's from China. Oh, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> As long as you use one grinder at a time, this one works fine. That one over there is from America, so it's the really good one. Yeah, that's the real deal over there. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of four. Just enough. All right, let's see if this is gonna work. Yep. She's cutting it. That is definitely cast. for a minute. We'll come back and check on him in a minute. Almost two pieces? Almost, I, I went and scorched a line. So I got this right here. Almost losing your line you put on there. But where it got a little crooked, that was your line. It wasn't like that. <laughs> Yeah, we should be getting real close. No ball. No ball ever know. It used to be a brake drum. You're through. The only place I don't see you're through is uh, rotate it back up and around is the this line right down here this one here looks good oh yeah i gotta finish that you see it there yep i remember my blade got too short She'll come. Yeah, it's all loose. Uh, in the corners, I don't want to get too far down. All you gotta do is maybe pop <laughs> it right here. Oh, now if that's not a custom piece, I don't know what is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect little picture frame. We'll set that outside. People really wonder what happened to that thing. <laughs> Sweet. Right. You ready to try to attempt to mount this for the 15th time? Yeah. yeah We've had more trouble getting this mounted up than we had getting that mounted up. Yeah. All right. So the plan is we're going to slide this off here one last time. We got our fancy spacer slash ear thingy here. Slide that on there. That should allow us to bolt everything up. And then we just need to make a tab to lock our tab off into it. Super simple. Simple. Yeah. All right, here we go again. Oh man, look at that. We're just so close. The trim trim like a little bit. So little too. Let's 
is once you get around to the side, it's gonna work perfect up here on top. It's gonna be a nice little short tab. Yeah. All right. Oh, strike one on plan two. <laughs> well, after a slight trim, she clears. Yeah. Okay. So now onto this part. All right, guys, we feel like I got this bolted up. Everything's clearing and working good. So the next thing we need to do is make a few tabs to where we can pin this off, keep it from rotating. We found a few random pieces over here on the scrap pile. I have no idea why we have commas. I don't either. But if you look at it like this, it's kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a snake head sticking up. Like, remember when you were a kid, you look up the clouds and say, oh, look at that dinosaur, or look at that dragon. I mean, it's kind of like the eye of a snake here. I'll, I'm not even gonna argue with you. Yeah, I don't know what you have that for, but <laughs> it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yeah. All right, this is the other tab we need to make. That's gonna be the lower one. We actually got fancy. I thought I got me a collet where I could put my slugger bits in our mill. We're getting yeah. fancy around yeah, here, are. slowly but surely, yeah. so. And now what, what piece of metal is that? That is, uh, <laughs> if you go all the way back into a video called Captain Cleman Wrecked the Low Boy. Yeah. That's what that piece of metal comes from. That's one of the that's one of the pieces. That's one of the pieces left over from the big crash. Yeah. Alright, you got a little bit of Oh It's so much quieter than the old typhoon. Yeah, it is. That's gonna be handy having that, especially when we get into some bigger holes. if we have to do precise drilling. Yeah. Oh, we gotta be getting close. Yeah. There she goes. It's just that easy. All right, so now, oh, we actually drilled a second hole in that one because the first hole was wallered out pretty good. So we well, we'll yeah. trim those up. Let's get them well done. Yep. Oh, well, well, we got a comma and a period. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Is that what we're going with? Yeah. All right, so this is our top, our top tab. So we got a torpedo level out there on the blade. I doubt you guys can see it because I barely can. We are perfectly plumb. You agree with that? Well, I'm going with your eyesight. <laughs> so, but we need to do, slide this up in there. Oh, that's gonna fit. Oh yes. Look at that. All right. You should be able to get in there and tack that, don't you think? Oh yeah. Can we turn your welder on for you? Yeah, buddy. How about a welding hood? Would you like that? The hood. <laughs> I think I missed it. 
We're supposed to be painting, <laughs> not welding today. I ain't used to it. All right, you ready? I think so. Except for the eyeballs part. Oh, I forgot to say that, didn't I? All right, so that's still... I think it maybe drew up just a little bit. Try to tap her down. Well, yeah, look at that. I like it. All right, you like it? Yeah, go ahead. Spin that over. Yeah, right there. Here, that should help me a little bit. Boy, what that did, that helped draw it down to me. Oh, but that fits nice. Yeah. Super nice. All right. <clears throat> it's like we. Designed it to go that way. Yeah, can you spin that a little more? Ooh, Ow! How was my that? Foot. Hmm. You know what? I need to go the other way. You need to go the other way. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you go the other way, I can get to it easier. You just want me to get off my seat, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> just because I got one, don't mean you need one out that's here. Not fair. Yours is not near as comfortable as mine. Ah, I made the difference. All right, you want me to go this way? Yeah. Well, a few hydraulic hoses in your way? That's perfect right there. Eyeball. Okay. Yep. Buzzer are across top and that one's good. Yep. Eyeballs. Eyeballs. All right, so far, our next one, we're gonna make sure we're level the other way. This one's only gonna have two positions. It's not gonna be like that one where we can put it in any position we want to. We're gonna go up and down or flat. We're gonna have to make do. This is the economy version of the saw. Yeah. All right, so we need to... Now the next one, we need to blade. Yeah, we need to switch sides again. Yeah. Musical chairs. And behind the scenes, I'm not sure how much they're going to be able to see to weld these in there. So they're going to have to take our word for it. Wow, oh, that's hot. Good. Hold on. All right. Bubble. Bubbles between the lines. Right there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hold on. All right, go. Like it? Like it. I'm off. All right, let me go check it. Oh, she's looking good. Oh, dude, it's dead nuts. Right. Welder. Ready to show them how it works? I'm ready. After all the struggles of that, the most complicated part works beautifully with no issues. <laughs> I don't get it. So, all right, give us a rundown. Are you gonna do it from that side or this side? All right. So pull pin, rotate blade. Look at that. I mean, that is. Pretty nice. That is flawless. All right, we got one last, one last thing we should probably do to make sure it works. We have not fired the skid steer up and spun the blade. No, no, we haven't done that. I mean, it should work fine, right? We should probably pull our... Yeah, we, <laughs> we should probably pull, We should probably pull our level off there. Yeah. All right, let's see what, uh, see what happens. Here we go. Looky there. Ha, there's a bat. We got an extra comma. <laughs> All right, here we go. You ready? Alright, 
so we did we didn't video this part but we did shoot this blade with an rpm gun i got yeah <coughs> we're seeing about 1100 rpms on it which yeah. is probably a bit slow which is the bad news but the good news is the machine's got more it's actually that valve we put in yep. that's controlling it which means it's going to be the same speed on this as what it is the track home before we go jacking the speedway up on this i think we need to get a little we need to get a few limbs underneath our belt yeah. so all right with that being said we got two things left to do yes we do one so we need to get that painted and then two we need to go cut a limb yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get this taken apart, get some paint sprayed on her, let her dry, and then we're gonna go give this thing a test run. That's the plan. Check that out, man, behind the scenes. We yeah. got some pretty painted stuff. Yeah, we do. I got one known to run. Oh, really? And I'm not gonna point it out. Well, uh, got hair and paint there. <laughs> Just for the record, I painted these there. real quick and in a hurry. Uh, yeah. And by yeah. myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was on a Saturday. <laughs> I think it all in all, it looks pretty doggone sharp. So, all right. We also painted the uh, root rake, which we built. Man, this thing looks, uh, this thing just looks stupid on the machine. Did you, yeah. I, I haven't edited the video yet. Did you video it on the machine? Have they seen it on the machine? No, yet? no, no. They, they haven't seen it on the machine yet? No, because I came out that one day, I couldn't take it anymore and I had to put it on. I waited and waited. I got tired of waiting on you to get back from your vacation. So I went ahead and put it on the machine just so I could get a sneak peek of what it looks like. <laughs> it looks, <laughs> it looks absolutely awesome. So, all right, here's what I'm thinking. What do you think about going ahead and <clears throat> putting this on the machine first, let them see what it looks like, and then we'll run this out, put it outside. And that way I'll open up the shop and we'll get the saw mounted back on that. And then uh, we'll go trim a tree. Yeah. That's all. Oh, all right. Here's the one question mark we had on this thing. And it is most likely always going to be stored in the face down position, right? Mm -hmm. So the question is going to be how difficult it is to hook it up in that position. I don't think it's going to be too bad. You want me, you want me to get that for you? Yeah, you get that. I'll hold the camera. <laughs> it's, it's not that high. I mean, it's just a. Give him a little stretch there. Yeah, nine foot. Nine foot. <laughs> Just hope we lean it over, everything's painted on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you know, you can use that, you can use that rig to pull. There, like that. Now you can get it. All right, that's it. That's good. You ain't gotta go any farther. Now just come down on it. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I would be in quality control. I'd have to send that back to the paint booth. <laughs> That's not what my customers want there, bud. Yeah. It is. Well done. 
does a good job of chipping concrete. <laughs> uh, you may have, to, may have to back up. There you go. Go that way a little more. A little more. There you go. Yeah, you kind of got to go down and in at the same time. Yeah. There you go. Keep going. There you go. Oh, you got her now. Holy snikes, that's a beast. Back her up a little farther. It's on the floor again. What's your visibility like? Visibility, like me, I can see it out the window, and then I can see it out the corners here. So I can see the top corners there. The bottom corners, I can look through. I like it. The real test is going to be when we use it. I mean, for what we're going to use it for, pushing yeah. off behind the saw, I think it's going to be fine. And this is only going to be used in dry conditions, which should give the taco a whole lot more traction. This thing's going to be useless yeah. in muddy conditions. You want me to see if it'll dig into the concrete? You already did. I already got it over there. It's going to let over here. Well, we, it's got a second purpose in live jackhammer. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron went outside and dropped off the... Uh, Oh my goodness, what you running over? It's just a broom. We don't use these anyways. Who put the broom in? You were using my broom. That's your broom. Yeah, you were using it. Your broom. I hope it didn't run out of Well, I know back to the shop. Me and Aaron got our own brooms, and we're very particular about our brooms. I hate his, and you hate mine. But it works. All right. We're going to get this thing hooked up on there. Oh, that looks cool already. Unfortunately, it's useless like that. Sweet. That's probably good right there. Yeah, going back, you're good. That'll work. Yeah, looks good. All right, I painted this piece. Ain't that fancy? I painted this piece green. It is. You overdone yourself on that. I did, didn't I? Because you asked, I said, no, I'll just paint it all black. That'll be fine. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pull her up. Let's go murder some yeah. wind. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, man, this might be the coolest thing we've built so far. I don't know if the videos do it justice. No, no, it is. And it's a lot more universal yeah. than anything we've ever built. You can put this on three different machines. I know. It is cool. Three different machines that you own. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's, uh, we need to get that bolted back on there, hook our hoses up. We may need to make a pin. We don't have a pin for this yet. Oh, but uh we don't we're just using bolts. yeah we're just shoving a bolt in there all right I, the anticipation's killing me let's do it people on the internet think we're just absolutely crazy. <laughs>
cut our studs off too short. We forgot about the brake. Uh, space it. Yep. We got plenty of meat holding for what we're gonna do though. Yeah. There it is. That was NASCAR speed there. You like that? Yeah. I'll definitely not put the washer on that. Don't put it on there. You gonna show them the fancy bolt I made? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show them that. I'll just move that a little bit and it'll come. It's a custom. Custom pin? Yeah. Dirt Perfect Headquarters custom okay. built pin. Yeah. So you already proved that hole lines up. I guess the next question is, man, look how easy that turns. Does that hole line up? Here. Nope. It's close. Oh, baby. Look at that. Yeah. The only issue I see is if we run it in that position, we probably don't want to store our jack right there. Well, we got it on that one. Yeah, it goes over there, but, there. but I don't know how much we'll run it. It's going to be hooked up to this. I think it'd be just yeah. easy just take it off, throw it in the cab. All right, let's go back the other way for now. Okay. Oh, sorry. Man, that works almost too good. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. We should go in the attachment building business. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what they do. All right, well, let's plug some hoses in and see if this thing works. <laughs> I think it's time for the moment of truth. See if this thing can trim a few trees. All right, if you guys remember previously in the video, we were a little undecided about what to do with our hoses. And uh, hose lengths are, I don't know, it's a little bit of a struggle, but it's going back and forth between two machines. So for now, we got what we think we need and zip tied up there. If we end up using this quite a bit, maybe we'll make some hoses just for this. But uh, for testing purposes, that's the route that's we're gonna we take. Yeah. All right, you ready to, uh, you ready to do this? I think so.
works what do you think how's the visibility is it good oh really yeah kind of like we had that angle set a little bit different on the uh track hoe where we did it with the 120. yeah <laughs> All right, we turned the blade around. Now he's going to see what it'll do. Actually, it works pretty nice. Wow, I do like that. <laughs> All right, we come back in the shop because we're a bunch of wussies and it's actually really cold. It's cold out there. But, uh, man, stay tuned, guys. We'll get a lot more really cool video of this thing running. But that was proof of concept. It worked, uh, it worked beautiful. I don't know if you got that one tree I cut down, but it was probably an 18-inch tree. Yeah, yeah, you did get a nice tree. We should have went up to video of it. I Pretty sure I got it. We're just going to have to stay tuned because there's going to yeah. be a lot more video coming to this thing. All right, man. I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be a wrap on this whole series in general. I don't know if we were to start this whole build over, knowing what we know now, I'm not sure we'd do anything any different. No. No, I'm not seeing anything. The, the only thing is you, you brought up that I wasn't really paying attention while I was filming was you did notice that on the hoses when we had yeah so now we're running this thing down there's a few trees that fell back you can kind of see where it rubbed the hose here but nothing big enough to really concern me the only other thing i don't know for sure with that one we have the option of any angle we want yes with this one it's 90. it's either straight vertical yeah and i'm thinking maybe like trimming the side of a trail maybe a 45 option would be handy yeah. but we're just going to have to use it that'd be easy to add later if we want the one thing i do know and I read all the specs on this, and I don't know why, but this valve is turned all the way up, and it's still restricting our speed. Uh, I think it's fast enough to do what we want to do. I don't want to go too fast and get ourselves in trouble. Yeah. But uh, it has this machine bouncing off its relief, trying to push past that flow control valve. But that's uh, honestly a pretty, pretty minor issue. I don't even know if it's really an issue because the blade spins pretty fast to cut. We don't yeah. need we don't need a zinger out there. We don't need a loose frisbee no. with sharp teeth on no, it. No, it's, it's probably better than <laughs> where it's at. But man, it'll go on the 120. It'll go on the 210. It'll go on the 240. We can yeah. do this. This is by far is the most universal attachment we yeah, got. It is. All right. Okay. We could go on and on about this thing for days. If you guys can't tell, we're pretty pretty damn excited about this one. But that's gonna be a wrap on this whole series, guys. As far as we're concerned, at this point. The build is complete. And a success. And a success. 100% success. So, the next time you guys see this thing, it'll be in a different playlist called On the Job Videos. Yeah. <laughs> That's the goal. All right. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the videos. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this series. 
If you did, big old thumbs up. I'm curious what you guys would have done something different. What, what did we do that you guys would have done different? I'd love to hear what uh, cool little feature we didn't think of. I think we did a good job of keeping the KISS method involved in this, the old keep it simple stupid yeah, that's it. method. But anyways, we gotta wrap her up. If you wanna see this thing on the job working, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We'd definitely appreciate that. We'll catch you on the next one. Tell them bye. See you guys.